Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling is making its South Florida debut here at Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum in Dania Beach. We're out near the water. We could do some hunting, we could do some fishing, but you know what? Tonight's gonna be a little wrestling. That's what they're gonna have here. And who better to have than the Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Mr. Wes Briscoe, Mr. Garrett Bischoff. Thank you guys so much. Tell us about Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling. Wes, you start the lead, start the charge here, and about the talent that we have here at ATR. Man, we're here at Atomic Revolution Wrestling, and it's one of the best up-and-coming indie wrestling promotions out there. I mean, we have talent all over Florida, and we also book talent all over the United States and all over the world. We have some of the best talent from Gangarelle, from Jesse Neal, of course, Wes Briscoe and Mr. Garrett Bischoff right there, Shannon Moore, Tommy Dreamer, Joey Ryan, the list continues of all the talent that we have. Dude, we've got some good people here, man. It's a, it's, it's, uh, it's a Nothing but a fun time every time you show up to an Atomic show. It's, it's good people, it's good vibes, it's, it's good fun. Yeah, you can bring your kids out, you can bring your family out. It's one of those shows that everybody will enjoy because we have something for everybody. We have comedy, we have the hardcore wrestling, then we also have the old school, tough, nitty gritty, you know, bloody wrestling. We have it all. <laughs> Tell you what, off subject. Did you see the size of that iguana that over there earlier? We might be wrestling one of them later. Oh I God. mean, that thing was like this. The iguanas <laughs> in South Florida, guys, holy moly. I actually thought it was an otter. I went and grabbed him and I go, hey, 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 there's an otter out there. And Garrett goes, wait a second, we that's no it. otter. <laughs> we should catch one get one in the ring tonight. Yeah, you think we can grill it? I think so. Can you grill it? Make some good eating. Why not? Yeah. You can grill everything else. I need a new pair of boots. Then maybe we match my Ninja Turtle socks. <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. Hey, as long as we don't see any alligators, that's the main thing. Oh, no, I'll wrestle gator. I've that. been known ah. to I ain't scared of wrestling gator now. Come on, I'm a good old Florida boy. Wait till I represent the sun goes Florida down. all the day. Look. Wait till the sun goes down. Hey, guys, what's it like working together? You guys worked together, met actually in TNA, with Impact mm -hmm. Wrestling, then did the Aces and Eights and all, but what's it been like working together and the friendship you guys have? Well, the craziest thing about it is actually our dads are best friends. Our dads actually worked together and created such magical wrestling memories that words can't even explain it. And to me, get to the opportunity to tag with Garrett Bischoff, it's like, it's so surreal. Like almost, it doesn't even seem real. Cause I mean, we're brothers, we think alike. And for us to tag team, it just kind of just meshed together. It is and ditto that, you know, I feel the exact same way. You know, like you said, our fathers go way back. So it's, 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 we have a special bond right away. And, and you know, we didn't even have to work for that. The, from day one, it just clicked. Um, he knows what I'm thinking. I know what he's thinking. Um, you know, if something happens and, and you know, I'm there to pick it up or he's there to pick it up vice versa, we just have each other back. And it's been that way since day one. And uh, there's just, a, there's a brotherhood there and a camaraderie. And not only, in the ring and out of the ring. We both care for each other. We're both there for each other and we have each other's back no matter what. It doesn't matter if we're wrestling or if it's life. We have each other's back because we're really brothers. Absolutely. Well, Garrett, you took about a three, four year hiatus from wrestling and you're doing very well in the construction business, construction company. But when you get back and you're able to tag with Wes, how much is, of an influence is that to say, all right, you know what? Let me do some wrestling again. I, I want to try this. That's the only reason I'm here. It's the only reason I'm here. If it wasn't him, I would honestly, and that's and that's the honest and God's truth. I'll tell you to the day. I was in Orlando about six months ago at an autograph signing where my dad happened to be, and uh, I just drove up from Tampa just to hang out with my dad and have a beer with pops for the day. And I didn't even know Wes was going to be there. And I walk in, I was like, Wow, my brother. We sat there and talked, uh, talked for a little bit, and he's like, Dude, you gotta maybe come in and, and do some do some stuff over here at Atomic. It's like, ah, I don't know, maybe we'll think about it. And he, 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 he whispered some sweet nothings in my ear. And uh, it's a couple months later, here well, we are. The rest you know is history. I mean? The rest, the rest is history. Is history. You know? okay, so, yeah, honestly, he's the only reason I'm here. You know? and it's, if, it, if it wasn't him, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this with anybody else. So. Both of you come from the second generation backgrounds. Obviously, Wes, your dad, Jerry, and also Uncle Jack. And then Garrett also. Yes, of course. And then Garrett also with Eric Bischoff. But both of you guys making your own mark, doing exactly. your own thing. And how important was that for both of you to do that? Because obviously you can get your foot in the door, but you got to keep your foot in the door. 
Well, that's one thing me and Garrett really talked about. That's one thing that we really, like, when we first met in TNA, when we first kind of, like, we're starting to get at this big push in TNA, and me and him sat together, and we, we really were like, how do we separate ourselves? Because we truly respect our followers and respect what they did in the business, but we don't want to ride on no one's coattails. That's not me and Garrett. We've never been like that. We're not, we never would do something like that. We want to make it on our own. So we really had to sit there and think of like, how can we create ourselves different, but yet still pay homage and respect to our fathers. So yeah. that was something that was really tough, but I think we're pulling it off. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's, uh, and then, you know, our dads come from total, two totally different backgrounds yeah. too. So it meshes well though, because he saw a different side of it than I did. I saw a different side of it than he did. So we bring that together and those things bowls and, you know, the same magic. thing. It's, it creates magic and it's, uh, and it's fun magic. Best advice you've got from your fathers? Don't get in a wrestling business. <laughs> you can see how that how well that hey, went. That's all right. <laughs> no. All right. So, guys, what does the future hold for West Frisco, Gary Bischoff? Well, I mean, for me, short term, we're going to go out here. We're going to go get in the ring with the headbangers tonight. We're going to. We're gonna walk out with these belts, and then I'm gonna to go to the nearest watering hole, and we're gonna have ourselves a good time down here in Miami. <laughs> That's for me. I, uh, I have a feeling that he's gonna be right there with me. Well, I'm also gonna do that, but I'm also getting ready. I'm, I got invited to do the Super 8 uh, contest, which is a very big deal at the old ECW arena in Philadelphia, and it's one of the biggest tournaments. It's gonna to be all second generation wrestling, and it's probably, everyone's heard of the Super 8 tournament. It's one of the biggest- Jim Kettner, I remember. Yes. Yep. Yes, and I was honored to get invited to that, so I'm going to be training and get ready for that. So guys, that's where you're going to be able to catch me next.